Let's set the scene. It's late. I'm bored. I want to play UCH. I start up a lobby and invite my friend Alejandro. We play for a while. One thing leads to another, and we end up with this unholy abomination. Truly an affront to God. We let the map get so difficult that neither of us could score a single point. Let me give you a rundown. There are three main obstacles to pass if you want to score. The very first thing we set up is the spring. But I'll get to that last. If you manage to clear the spring, you'll end up down here. Now this setup is awful. So much so that Alejandro, a top player, didn't get past it a single time in the hour that we played. You need to bump into this wall here, fall down, and time your inputs perfectly so you jump off of this little section of block. Cross the wires, jump up to the right, and carefully land here. I hope you brought your big boy pants with you because this is where it gets hard. Every time this R spike switches from the safe side to the spikes, there are a few frames where you can stand on this little sliver of block before the spikes come out, which gives you a small window of time where you can perform a regular jump from the block below. Following along? Good. I'll spare you the technical details of what makes this so difficult, but we need to run to the left, jump, immediately turn to the right, and hold left again to cling to the wall, then jump over the spike ball. If by some act of divine intervention you have managed to make it past that setup, your reward is this. Pure chaos. You need to find some way to get onto this block here. It's a simple setup, but god is it hard. Now finally, we get to the spring. The spring setup is simple. All you need to do is jump into the spring, hold left, then wall jump from underneath the black hole to get over the spike ball. The problem is, if you're too close to the black hole, it has a stronger pull, which will make your jump look something like this. Now this is where the issues start to come up. How far you end up beneath the black hole depends on where and how you hit the spring. If you hit the spring too high, you die. But if you jump lower to accommodate for this, you die. And if you jump from further out, so you hit the spring with more velocity, you die. But jumping from up close, you die. I don't understand, on a fundamental level, how the hell springs work. You would think after 2600 hours of playing this game, I'd sort of have it down. Uh, but apparently I did something cruel in a past life, so the heavens above didn't bless me on this one. After many, many deaths, I found the answer. It was looking grim for a while, but this was a game changer. All I need to do to pass the spring is change absolutely nothing and hope that it works out this time. Armed with my brilliant new knowledge, I kept on playing. I went through the seven stages of grief trying to figure out this spring, all the while Alejandro is getting it flawlessly every time. He couldn't give me a good answer on how he did it, but... Going unga bunga mode, I could make it like 20% of the time, so screw it. By this point in the game, we had both accepted that the level was too hard. So we started placing everything off to the side where it couldn't hurt us. We tried, and we tried, until eventually, this happened. I made it to the last obstacle. I was one good jump away from putting an end to our misery. This was my time to shine. If anybody can do it, it's me. Deep breaths. I'm ready. We've been playing for so long now. Alejandro doesn't even want to be here, but that is not my problem because I am not the quitting type. At least one of us is going to score a point before we can go. The original game ended by default because we played too many rounds. So we started a new game with the same map. And when that one ran out of rounds, we started again. And again. And again. We played through a good 50 rounds and still no winner. But that was about to change. It's the final round of the fifth game. I have two lives left. 
Before I can even think about beating this, I need to pass the spring. Okay, now we're getting somewhere. But the next section is still the hardest. I need to make this count. All that's separating me from victory now is a single jump. Can this be done? My god, it can. We're home free now. Everything else is so easy that I'd be ashamed if I died here. Thank god I won't have to deal with that. I mean, seriously. There is no chance I die here. Absolutely no reason to worry. Did you think I was kidding or something? It's finally over. I'd like to pretend that this is the grand conclusion to an epic tale of great triumph and defeat, because that would make for a much better video, but in reality, this is just me making the least out of my unemployment. One thing I can say for sure though is that I entered this game as a boy, and I now emerge as a boy with one less hour of my life that I will never get back.